rest of us will never have enough money to be able to buy a home. But Sims can until now. If you head on over to the gallery, click on hashtag and type in FGG luxury, you will find a plethora of builds that your Sims will never be able to afford. And we're gonna be going through these today. The first build we're gonna be looking at is the Magnificent Magical Manor by Tira Liana. And it costs over a million simoleons. Why should someone who can bend the fabric of the universe to her will be content with living in a tiny hut? No, for this spellcaster, only the best is good enough. And I guess her students slash servants can have nice things too. Oh, how generous of her, wow. She's so nice for paying her servants. Maybe not a livable wage, but come on, she's not made out of money. Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Magnificent Magical Manor. I already know that the inside is gonna probably be insane, but can we appreciate the vibes here? This is like old fairy tale princess castle with like some Barbie elements, you know what I mean? Like Barbie and the flying Pegasus, magical Pegasus thing, whatever it was. This is absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna do a perimeter check real quick before I go inside. I can hear my PC whirring. Like I already knew that these builds were going to be insane. Oh wait, is this the front of it? No, this is the back of it. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I'm fucking crazy. Sorry. Look at this tower. I, dude, if I was a princess, I would happily be stuck in this tower. 100%. Give me a decent PC in there. I would not care. Well, let us not dilly dally. Let's go in. First, this like little gazebo situation is absolutely beautiful. Somebody had a little accident over there. On there, like little bunny rabbit holes. Dude, what? Okay, like I already know that you guys are way more talented than I am, but you don't have to like show it. Like at least make it look a little bit bad. So, you know, I can feel better about myself. We're in the little foyer entrance here and there are so many ways for us to go. I th I'm just gonna hang right. I don't know why. I don't know why and it doesn't matter. <gasps> Cauldron room. Dude, this is so cozy. This is so cozy. Look at all the flowers and the, oh, oh, oh my God. Like this is like the prettiest alchemy room I think I've ever seen in my fucking life. Flowers in the fireplace because why not? Dude, I'm like walking past everything but I should be looking at all the details. Like look at this. This little table set up with all these little fucking like details. We've got flowers on the walls as well. Potions here. You even line the fireplace with more flowers. Okay, like I would have never thought about that. And then there are more potions up here and a clock. And I was about to just like walk right past that. I uh, Dude, the amount of detail that's gonna be in this build is going to be insane. Oh my God, look at the bookshelves. You like built them in there and then you made like an ottoman situation here. Uh, whoa, uh, I am in awe. There's a cow plant. There's a frigging cow, cow plant, cl cow, pl cow plant. There are just so many details. You put this giant flower in like a, a, a what is this? Like a vase thing. Beauty and the beast. Get the fuck out of here. What even mother plant is here? She's just chilling. This is, this is insane. Oh, stop, stop. Dude, I don't even want to look through this build anymore because it's making me feel so insecure. There's a door there. This is a, oh dude, this is a crystal room. This is like a little collectibles room. I don't know how playable this entire build is, but like, I don't even care at this point. This is gorgeous. I don't even want to think about how many hours it took for you to make something like this just for somebody like me, an absolute buffoon to go and look around it. Oh my God. Oh, the vibes, the vibes. She's casting magic and there are vines coming out of her. Like, dude, every single inch of this build is just so fascinating. It's so beautiful. You have so many debug items everywhere. There's a tea set over there and I didn't even notice with goblets. What if I cried? What if I died? I hope I die in this build. Oh my God. Stop! A seance table with drinks. That's a fun night if you ask me. Oh, dude, the ghost is already here. Stop! We even got like a little sugar school collection. Dude, we're gonna be here forever. And you know, this is the best fucking bathroom I've ever seen. Like, I, I'm out of words. I'm We've just started and I'm out of words. Why do you even watch me at this point? Like, I am adding nothing to this conversation except that I want to live here. Look at this fucking kitchen. How long did it take you to make this? Like, what? This door, I believe, leads into the backyard, which is still really, really beautiful. Oh my God, you made them like a little house and stuff. This is just so pretty. I am just, I am, uh. All right, we're just gonna go upstairs. Uh, It's a bit cramped, but that's totally fine. Okay, oh yeah, this is the magic ritual spot. I didn't even know we had a constellations wallpaper. I mean, flooring. You're just like teaching me new things now. We're gonna go onto the balcony, which is absolutely beautiful, like a little stargazer situation going on. It's even like a floating moon over this globe. I would have never even thought of that in a million years. This guy is holding a magic wand. I don't know. I just thought that was relevant. This looks like a library and you can definitely tell because there are books on the side to let you know that you're entering the library. Very, very good details. Where are you getting these vines from? I need to ask because I want to use 
against this. Dude, this is absolutely insane. And I don't, like, I know I sang the Beauty and the Beast situation for like two seconds, but I just feel like Belle would absolutely love this room. This looks like if you wanted to do alchemy, but you're also at a wedding. You know what I mean? Doesn't it give wedding vibes? Oh, probably because we have a wedding arch right here. That's probably why I thought that. But to be honest, I would marry this build. Absolutely. I have an unhealthy parasocial relationship with this entire build right now. And there's a gaming setup. Dude, there's no way, uh, two gaming setups. There is no way you are tearing me away from this build. There's a nice bathroom with, oh, dude, what is, like, okay, hold on. Like, uh, can we appreciate? Can we appreciate for a moment this entire thing? That looks like a really tiny bathtub though. But the pooper looks great. And you even have like a divider here. So, you know, you got a little bit of privacy. This is insane. This is insane. You can even play chess if you're so inclined. I could easily get lost in here. Here we have a, uh, oh, there, uh, yeah, sorry. I'm doing this in build mode because it runs easier on my computer. But you can imagine there are a bunch of beautiful like fucking bugs everywhere. But look at the, like they're just, they, I, I am, I have no words. I'm done speaking. I'm done speaking. There's magic coming out of that. And there are no words coming out of my mouth. There's even, oh, oh, is this the wedding venue? I have no idea. I don't know what this room is, but to be honest, I don't care. This is where I get married to the inanimate object that is this build. Oh, this is so pretty. And the colors, like, I don't know. I feel like if I was trying to make something with this brick wall, I would have never thought any of these colors would have matched. But lo and behold, they do. I feel like I get a little too nervous about using a lot of items that I feel like wouldn't match or aren't from the same pack, but I really should just like do whatever the fuck I want to be honest, because this is proof that it works. Okay, up to the third floor where the camera will probably start getting janky, which it does, but it's not really my fault, so you can't blame me. This is a little bit moody and melancholy. Can you tell by the overcast. Oh my god, this is th this is kind of ominous. Where are we going? Where are you taking me? Oh my. Okay, what is this room supposed to be? Oh, this is a painting room. This is so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, she's like doing magic as well. And that's the easel. Dude, okay, this, uh, this is too much. Too much. You've done too much now. I don't understand how this progressively keeps getting better and better. Do you like, do you do this for like a living or something? Because you should. You absolutely should. Oh my god, this is the sweetest little nursery ever. It just, I've never, I would have never thought of any of this. Dude, I just built crack houses and you guys are like, yeah, what if I just built the most extravagant thing you've ever seen? There's a fairy in that fountain. Okay, now this is an imposing bedroom. Oh my god, imagine taking a girl back to this room. <laughs> oh my god, some magic is about to be going on down here. And it's like EP time, you know what I mean? <laughs> Head through this door, we have another kitchen. Okay, so we've got like separate living areas, it seems. I mean, I guess maybe you got hungry, but you're upstairs and you don't want to go downstairs. Mm, yes, I love this bathroom. Oh yes, absolutely. Oh, we have like a kid's room. This is so cute. Yeah. Oh, this is the cool kid's room for sure. They even left their wand here because they're so cool. They don't even need it. Oh, there's a, um, we're like pressed up right against the closet. Don't you worry about me, darling. I'm already out the closet. Okay, we've got another floor. Rest in peace, this camera, honestly. Oh, it all leads through a big door. Okay. Oh, it's just an office. This is like such a drab office compared to the rest of the house, but I guess you need to focus on frog. This is the most impressive build I think we've ever seen on this channel. And I know I say that almost every episode, but you guys continue to raise the bar. Next build we're gonna be looking at is Princess Needed a Town by Gandalf Mom 42. And this one costs 335,000 simoleons. The princess fled her crown before she came of age, so technically sheltering her was kidnapping. Knights pursued her endlessly. Nothing could convince the kingdom that she preferred her new life as head witch's apprentice. The witch tried to fend off the endless invaders, growing a dense forest, crafting traps and tricks. She finally called on darker powers to build her princess a tower retreat, but it hasn't been enough. Too many knights and elder rich bargain to satisfy. Hmm. Listen, I, you know, I'll be the princess for a day. You know, I would be more than happy to live in a tower uh, forever as long as I have a computer in there and that I could have friends over on the weekends. Like, I assume if you're a princess trapped in a tower, they'd pay your bills for you. The cost of living crisis is real, you know. And here we are at the princess's tower. You might be wondering why we're still going up, and that's because the tower is all the way up here, and this is so cute. 
like look at that i mean the views from there must be amazing but we're not going to be up there just yet we need to find a way inside so the witch obviously took some time to build a dense forest of which we are just entering in casually you can see excavation zones for some reason i guess people are really trying to find this princess which is kind of creepy oh we have all the knights here all the suitors ready for adventuring to get into the tower and figure out how to how to win her heart i think it's kind of dumb because she said no and th that should be the end of it but we're, i assume this is like the witch's hut maybe perhaps i have no idea we'll see what awaits us inside and it's a cozy fucking kitchen and you know what this is my house this is where i live there's a thing that goes upstairs i'm gonna go through the doors first and then we'll go downstairs after going upstairs oh this just leads outside okay we have a little alchemy station going on right here she's just brewing her lotions and potions there's really nothing to worry about and nothing suspicious now if we head upstairs i like the little windows in between the ladders that is really really cute another alchemy station girl okay how many potions do you need are you like outsourcing or something okay and then we have a beautiful balcony with two easel okay i feel like there's somebody else living in here maybe like she's got a boo thing or something you know and i'm talking about the witch because obviously the princess is up on a tower there's also a downstairs and there are no doors around the base of the tower i don't think so i don't really know how we're supposed to get up there the first time in a long time i don't actually hate the basement because it seems very cozy and very nice i assume this is like her bedroom this is her bathroom okay unless she sleeps in here which i doubt and then through this door we have the bedroom okay this is so cute i really really love this this is just really cozy really quaint it's still nothing princess related obviously this is where the witch lives oh my god okay yeah she's got so many nooks and crannies here okay all right this is storage okay i mean this is cute this is where she keeps all her collectibles her magical doodads i'm searching around the base of this tower but i cannot actually seem to find an entrance and it seems like there isn't really an entrance unless you climb that whole thing okay i think that's what we have to do okay i am not a prince or anything like that i am not trying to seduce her i'm actually the princess herself i just fell down and i needed to go back up which is why we are here and there's like a little doggy door okay the camera is probably gonna be really fucked up up here so forgive me also i did not realize there was a golf course in this world like this is the first time i've ever seen this anyway okay so i have squished my way through this door and now i am up here i imagine going down there is probably a bad idea so we're just gonna go up and see where the princess lives oh well yes hello i would absolutely love an edible piece of gold oh my god okay i cannot move this camera around but you can definitely see she has got a really good living situation going on very very cute if we go up a floor we do see this is her bedroom this is really cramped actually i take back wanting to be a princess up here this kind of sucks also toilet right where ugh, dude if i drop a stinky dookie i'm gonna smell that forever maybe that's how she wards off suitors just like no i took a really big stinky poopy don't come up here and then they try to and then they're like oh my god and there's no gaming setup so sorry not for me if we go all the way down the ladder from the top of the tower we're actually at the very bottom and we just have this ominous room and as the ladder continues down we're actually completely underground now which is kind of interesting and it's a little bit cramped and creepy so i don't know what this is i don't i don't think anybody's really made their way down here i can't imagine what this could possibly be oh it's a it's a trap i guess and going through these doors we have just like an underground chilling area maybe this is where the witch and the princess just like hang out or not what oh wait huh this was such a wholesome build and now you've got like what what i am just a little bit confused i feel like i was given no context to this at all you guys couldn't have been normal for one build this just left me confused great job though last build we're gonna be looking at is the luxury mansion movie sets by smiley face lissy and it costs almost two and a half million simoleons billionaire movie director had a midlife crisis which caused him to have the most embarrassing interview ever he hasn't left his property since for the sake of his family and for himself he dedicated each section of his mansion to different movie genres and has filmed films in his house which his wife and children love acting in don't worry nothing bad they're all movie props him and his family are having fun with his new renovations this took forever to do uh. for me homes are supposed to be a cozy thing so i would never do this i also could never afford to do this but i bet when you're a kid that would be so fun here we are at the luxury mansions movie set oh my okay i can see why this is expensive because this is a little bit obnoxious 
obnoxious, but I kind of love it. I mean, movie directors are obnoxious anyway. And can I just say, this is the most out of place mailbox ever. And I love it. I don't know who, oh my God, there's a doggy one as well. I don't know which movie director this is. And frankly, I don't care because you know what? You, you were canceled because it's something you said in an interview. I don't even know what they did. There's so many different gates and so many things. This feels like a museum more than anything. So you know that when this director dies, it just will become a museum. So I guess we've got to guess what each of the movie genres are. This is obviously like a children's film, fantasy film. And this is so cute. We've got like a little Mad Hatter tea party here. We've got a tiny little house made out of mushroom. Okay. And a horrifying mannequin. This is actually really, really cute. I know that if he has like a little kid, they would absolutely love playing in here. We'll go through this door next. I don't really know. Oh my God. Okay. I don't really know what this is. Like I got to remember that people also live in here. Like they, this is someone's house. It's not just a museum. And oh my God, okay, a giant spa. All right, some people just have money to spend, honestly. And I'm upset that it's not me. We also have a sauna on this side. There's a little tiny bathroom in here. And oh my God, ah, okay, flashbang morning. <laughs> All right, we've got like the fanciest shitter in the world. Okay, like this is what I mean about some rich houses. They feel so like heartless, you know what I mean? Soulless. Okay, yeah, dude, okay. The, what movies did you make? Avatar, one, two, three, four, five, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and Star Wars. Like, dude, chill. Where are you getting this money from? Little hideaway for the kid, which is really cute. I imagine being a kid and growing up in this house must be insane. We will go upstairs, but there's still so much of the downstairs we've yet to see. We run across this way now. We have the giant. Okay, we are having dinner parties in here. Oh my! All right, horseshoe shape. Horseshoe, horse, horseshoe. Oh yeah, they do not cook their own food. They have people that do it for them. Okay. Oh my God. All right. A giant giant basketball court. Okay, dude, rich people can just like think of anything. Like who actually thinks of an indoor basketball court? A movie director? I don't think so. Somebody just had money to spend for whatever reason. Okay, we have the pirate place. Yes, pirate movies. This is so cute, dude. If you're a kid, this is like the coolest place ever. You've got a little, oh my God. I don't even want this build. I just want to be a kid that lives in this build. You know what I mean? Oh, this is the grand entrance of the house. And I just did not go in here first. I am, dude, I am just like amazed. Okay, I'm running around. Let me have some childlike wonder. Okay, what is this? Why is this empty? Oh, it's not. Okay, it was just a, a glitch, I guess. Giant tree house, but it's not even outdoors. It's indoors to make it look like it's outdoors. That is actually kind of dystopian. Why? Why doesn't he have just like a normal house? Okay, he definitely had like a mental breakdown or something. I don't even know what he said during the interview, but I'd cancel him too. He is just off his rocker, man. A Wild West section. Okay, so you made the bar of the house a wild west theme that is so clever with like the horse ranch stuff as well dude i bet they would actually keep horses in here they would oh my god okay now i kind of want to play in this build i'm not gonna lie. what is this oh my god what is this the spooky section <gasps> the uh the the shining right it feels like it it even says here's johnny i knew it look it's him it's him okay this is where you take your kid when they're in trouble and you don't want to deal with them anymore and you want them to learn their lesson you just traumatize them oh my all right scooching in through here now we have of course an ice sculpture because only rich people would have something like that but a few more doors here this leads back into the, okay so we have looped around and then this is pink what is this uh barbie movie and uh there's wallpaper missing because i don't own all of the kits my bad but we can assume it's probably very very pink this is really really cute i actually really like this uh oh my god where are we going what, what side is this wait there's like a sci-fi section i almost skipped past it oh my god okay and like a giant fucking door finding nemo that's probably this movie's genre i know finding nemo is its own genre yeah yeah and an arcade because of course okay this like i understand why this cost like two and a half million simoleons uh sci-fi bedroom not so bad a little weird not for my taste but i'm sure somebody else would probably enjoy something like this there are doors i haven't gone through that i need to make sure and go back and double check that i've been through them there is just so much going on okay this has like a little airlock situation going on so i kind of want to know what's behind this okay game of thrones yeah this is 
uh, this is where I hang out. Is there anything to do in this section? Absolutely not. But I don't care. This is this is uh, my crown. Forgets how to speak. Okay, now I gotta go back to where I was. We're gonna go upstairs now to the second floor, which honestly still amazes me how much house is left here. We have a little painting area and oh, it looks down on the Wild West area. So you can watch the horsey do jumps and stuff like that. Oh, this is just like a skill area. Interesting. Another indoor fountain that's just gonna make the ceiling really wet. Aliens versus pirates. Okay, interesting. I love, oh my God, this is so creative. Like you guys are just having fun with it at this point. A pirate bedroom, dude. Okay, no, this is actually pretty sick. You can tell whoever built this just had like a whale of a time. <laughs> I probably should have said that in the room where there was a whale, but you can just pretend that I did. Okay, we're just zooming in over through here. Interesting. This is like a completely different vibe of the house. I feel like this is where you wife probably decided to decorate it because she thought it felt like a bit too like dreary and weird. A beautiful little nursery. Okay, so they're just adding more to the family. Oh my god, he just like needs a whole cast and crew to be honest. And when he needs a cameraman, he just makes his wife pop out another one. You know what I mean? Oh my god, there's just so much. A gaming room? Okay, that's where I'm gonna be for sure. What is this? Like a, a, a staff room? I don't, I don't know. Oh, it's a massage chair room. Okay, interesting. I didn't like realize those were massage chairs at first spa room okay all right i love the vibes i don't know it's just dude i'm like actually lost i'm in someone's bedroom right now i don't even know how i got here luxury bathrooms oh my god this is how it's expensive i can understand i don't even want to think about how long it took you to make something like this they have a bowling alley of course they do they're rich why am i even concerned why am i like oh my god of course they would up to the third floor now okay lots of books and i am pretty sure nobody is reading them and nectar making area that's probably where they get a majority of their money because like nectar makes you so much okay enough with the books enough we do not read that much here okay we have a movie theater oh it's not a movie theater it's a steak who are you bringing in here oh my jesus christ dude i would be so annoyed are they having political debates in here i would be so annoyed if somebody brought me to their house and it looked like this never mind i would absolutely love being in somebody's house like this this is also my room <laughs> like i feel like a certain point Point, you just need to like humble yourself a little bit like you do not need all of this like just go outside like your interview couldn't have been that bad you have a pool you have an infinity pool jesus christ man superhero movies very very nice and you have an apocalyptic bar okay all right i can dig this where does this go why are we back downstairs oh it leads up here okay dude i am i am lost i don't think you guys can understand how absolutely massive this building is like I actually do not know how I got here and I do not know how to get back okay this is where the movie theater is interesting so I knew he'd have one he's a movie director of course he'd need one. Oh, we have a pink room here oh my god how many kids do you have bro enough oh I think this is the apocalypse area I don't even know anymore with a zen area this is a weird place to like be zen to you know what I mean insane nonetheless dude at the end of like family albums he probably has like credits rolling because of how many kids he has this was absolutely Absolutely insane and it was so creative amazing job <laughs>